Welcome to Behind the Scenes at the Hanover Theater. Now, here's your host, Lisa Condit. Good afternoon, everybody, and thanks again for listening, tuning in. Today, I have a special treat. We are speaking with one of our newest board members, Dr. Ron Bidinger, and he has come to us. He's a dentist down in Webster, and I can't wait to find out all the plans he has for us as a new board member. Welcome to the program. Good afternoon. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. I have to tell our listeners that I got to know Ron just a little bit because I was lucky enough. He was one of the people who actually read my weekly emails and responded to the weekly emails and gave us some really good suggestions for different shows, some marketing tips and whatnot. So tell us. Tell us how you came to know about the Hanover Theater. Well, that's its own odd story. I uh, got a phone call on one of the busiest days in my office in about 10 years from my buddy Mark, who happens to be the stage manager. And he said, by any chance, do you happen to have an extra dental chair laying around? And I said, hmm, that's an odd question. (laughs) So I said, as a matter of fact, I do. And he said, well, would you mind if Tim Conway sits in it tonight? And uh, I said, sure, come on, get it. It's yours. And uh, that's how I first found out about the Hanover. How funny is that? And you were talking a little bit about how you're actually from Ohio. Yes, from Ohio originally, went to school in Michigan, moved out here 26 years ago. And so now I've lived in Worcester longer than I've lived anywhere else. Oh, and Worcester's a beautiful place. But it's funny, life is a total circle because you grew up and your father is actually friendly. Is that what you were saying? Nope. A uh, friend in uh, undergrad. Undergrad, had, that's uh, it. Uh, used to... <laughs> Used to eat, <laughs> used to eat dinner with Tim Conway every night because his dad was a pediatrician. They lived next door to each other. And then there you are. You're getting a call from this theater in Worcester asking if he can sit in one of your dental chairs. I probably could have eaten dinner with him 25 years ago. How funny is that? So you've been to the theater quite a bit. What originally drew you in? Was it that original conversation? Had you been to the theater before then? Oddly enough, I was at my gym and I heard an advertisement for a blues guitarist named Joe Bonamassa. And oh, of course. I had just learned about him and I became a virtual cult member overnight. <laughs> and so I bought a ticket and I got to sit about four rows out and that was it. I walked into that theater and my DNA changed to that minute. Oh, oh, I love that story of transformation. So I'm sure, please tell me, you had heard something about the Hanover Theater before you had heard the advertisements for Joe Bonamassa. I regret and I'm embarrassed to say that is not true. <laughs> no. So it was, it was hearing something for somebody you were specifically interested in. That was A little bit after we had opened, but not much. We had a lot going on around our grand opening. Tell me, was it at all what you expected when you walked in the doors? It was beyond what I expected because I was not sure how resurrected this theater was going to be. And when I saw it, it literally, I, I... tell people now I walk in the theater and I spend more time looking at the theater than I look at the show I'm, I'm mesmerized by the architecture and the and the and the the way they've redone it back oh. to 1912 oh it's absolutely gorgeous and you know it's interesting to me at, from a marketing perspective the hard thing is getting people to come the first time once they come and they experience our volunteer ushers with their big smiles greeting them and showing them to their seats and the quality entertainment that's on the stage I think people come back again and again it's getting over that initial mm, not sure what to expect so how would you describe it to somebody who had never been there before funny you should ask that because that's exactly what attracted me to it I was I came I was shocked at the level of service the way the staff responded. The second time I went, the maitre d' upstairs knew my name. Of course. And, I'm, and, I, and I was just, I swore I thought they were taking pictures of us and memorizing who we were or something. like. That. I just didn't think it was possible. So you have this beautiful combination of this grand theater, yet it's homey. It's close enough to get in and out of easily. It's a uh, great connection with people and then you start to see the same people again and again hopefully bring some friends they get used to it like you said and uh they're just locked in after you come once so as a new board member what are some of the things that you would like to be able to do during your tenure uh i think mostly i want to add somehow you know with the help of the rest of the the board and 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 the community to just make it long-term viable i I just think that the hanover theater is uh, just a a beautiful anchor for for downtown worcester i think it has a chance to change the landscape literally 
Oh, absolutely. And of course, we are finishing up our Securing the Future campaign. That's the capital campaign to retire the debt for the theater so that we can really reinvest that money back into the theater. We have, of course, our big Tony Awards Gala coming up. In Can't April. wait for it. I know. Have you been a part of the planning? And I know there are different committees at the board level. Do you sit on any of the committees or are you specifically? I am a rank amateur. I'm just starting. <laughs> so I do what they tell me to do when, I, when I'm supposed to do it. And so how were you recruited for the board? Uh, that was my buddy Mark, too. He made a couple suggestions to people. I started coming around the Franklin Square Society, which I also love, um, meeting people. And the more interested I got, I guess, the more interested I got. And I, I just, it's my realm. I love it there. Right? Well, and nothing replaces enthusiasm, that's for sure, because that's what helps to spread the word. And it's truthful. The fact is, is you are enthusiastic. You do love the theater. You love what we have to offer. You love the service that's there. And it's easy for you to talk about that to other people. Tell me a little bit more about some of the other things that are going on at the board level. I know that we just had a legislative breakfast. Yeah, that was great. They got uh, they got to talk to the local legislators uh, about how things originally happened, uh, how much uh, help they were in getting uh, funds and government grants and whatnot, um, how it went over the next few years, and what they hope to accomplish as far as continuing the uh, redoing the, the theater and, and bringing it back to its original look and, and that kind of stuff. So it was uh, very nice to see that. And the interest level of the legislature, they were just as thrilled as I am about the whole thing. So I know. That, very nice. It feels so good, doesn't it, to be surrounded by all of that positive energy and people are really believing in the project. They see the impact that we're having on the community, and it really helps to move a lot of agenda items forward, not just for the Hanover Theater, but for the community, the theater district, and other revitalization efforts yeah i really i really like how they're branching out into the community i like the work with south high um i think that's great i just help, helps the whole theater and the community and the whole situation grow to the better well and to your point actually all of those things are fitting into our mission to foster that love and appreciation of the performing arts in audiences of today and tomorrow. Because without tomorrow's audiences, we don't have a future. So reinvesting in the community, not just with families, but really that younger generation is key. Absolutely. You mentioned something else that I think our listeners are going to be interested in, and that is the Franklin Square Society. You've been an active member of the Franklin Square Society, and you were talking a little bit about that. Describe what that means, if you don't mind, to our listeners. Well, the Franklin Square is uh, donors who help to continue the viability of the theater um, through a donation. Um, you get to be a little closer to the inside going ons with the theater you you get first uh first shots at the tickets when they come out um uh you tend to buy season tickets for the broadway uh theater series too and uh it's just a lot of fun to be around it just makes you feel like you're part of the community it makes you feel like you're part of the theater absolutely it, it, it's funny actually the the maitre d who knew my name the second time <laughs> I, I love his pronouns it's never the theater it's my theater and it is now my theater. I, I love it. Excellent. It's us. It's we. It's it's our theater. It's not a theater. It's not the theater. Absolutely. And there is a very strong sense of community. There are a lot of ways that people can get involved with the Hanover Theater. And if you go to our website, thehanovertheater.org, we have a whole section on support us. So some of the ways that we've mentioned, you've talked a little bit about the Franklin Square Society, different levels of membership. And the Franklin Square Society is our leadership level. It starts at $1,000 per an individual and $2,500 for corporate members. Great option if you would like to entertain clients or reward family members, or if you want to network with other professionals and business leaders in the community with that private access to the Franklin Square Salon. Also, our capital campaign, we have our access to the arts annual fund which helps to support the school projects that we do specifically adopt a school with south high you had mentioned a little bit about that i just really appreciate you taking the time we are looking forward to the great work you're going to be doing as a board member anything else you want to say to people before we wrap up and just please come and see the theater once and i guarantee you will come and see it many more times and there you have it. Thank you very much, Ron. Thanks for being here today. Have a great rest of your day. And everybody stay tuned for more behind the scenes here on WCRN AM 830.